And welcome back. Now today's little video is about what the postman's brought me. And it's all to do with size. Does size really matter? Well, I was in for a little bit of a shock because the things I ordered were different in size to what I thought I'd ordered. So here we can see on the table, I've just wired them up already, three little voltmeters, which I'm going to use in a project. And funnily enough, in a future video, I've also ordered this little device here, which we'll come on to, and an LED module here, and something in this bag here, which is bright, but my goodness, did the size surprise me there. Let's have a look at, first of all, these little meters, voltmeters that I bought. So we have a look at the uh, screen here. You'll see that these are defined from Banggood, these are. These are defined as 0.28 inch, 2.5 volts to 30 volt mini digital voltmeter. And they are, and here's a few pictures of them. And if you scroll down, you get some more pictures. There we are. So I thought perfect for my project. So I've ordered three of them. And here you can see them in real life. Right, that's the best shot I can give you. Now, if I light these up, there we are. Now you can see I've got a red one at the back, a blue one here at the front, and a green one over there, slightly obscured by the wiring. Um, both of the, the two here, the red and the blue, are saying 5.1 volts, and this one's saying 5.11. The green one does read 0.01 volt over the other two. Um, I don't know which one's the more accurate because I haven't tried my multimeter on these yet. But if you compare these in size to, say, my hand or my thumb or something, these are tiny. I mean, let me bring one off the board, only secured with a bit of blue tack. See, now this one here, I'm going to bring the zoom back out again. Now this one here is tiny, fits in the palm of my hand, no trouble at all. I imagined they were going to be big fat things about this. Of course, yes, I should have read the description, 0.28 inch. But, well, does anybody ever read that? So these are actually delightfully small and all fit in everywhere. They've got two little mounting lugs either side. And I think they're going to be really great. Um, now, I've got three, what, three of them, three different colours, um, so that I can differentiate various voltages. And I think they're really cool. Now, you can see on the screen that these are priced from... From China, $1.57 to $1.93. From the EU, $3.33. In pounds, let's change that back again, GBP, £2.38 if you want it from the EU, and one fifty seven to one ninety three, depending on the colour, if you're prepared to wait for six months. Sorry, six weeks. It just feels like six months sometimes on that slow boat from China. Now that's pretty good, considering this is a complete digital voltmeter each one from and the spec is something like what did it say 2.5 volts to 30 volts and you just plug it across the the power lines and off you go now i'm going to put those into a project but i'm also going to do a video on uh, voltage related matters pretty soon and they'll come in jolly handy now what's the other thing i got ah yes now you probably recognize one of these as a PIR detector. That is to say, the sort of thing you find in burglar alarms. And when you walk in the room, this detects the body heat and switches an output high. And this one, unlike others I've got, allows you to amend the sensitivity and the lux on here. So you can have it very sensitive and come on when it's dark or light. And that's great. And I've used these in two further projects that I've got installed in my house. The only trouble I found was that they're just slightly on the big side of what they are. I mean, this is not quite golf ball size, probably about half golf ball size. But then I found this. Now this is a mini PIR from Banggood again. Now you can see how small it is. Let me take it out of the packet and stop all this rustling. Actually, you come. Right, here we are. Now, look at that dinkiness. I mean, this is as small in PIR terms as the voltmeters were for volt terms. I mean, this is this is delightfully small and so much smaller than, than this one that you can compare it to. I mean, you can probably fit 
two or three in the same space as one of those, probably more. So this is for a project which um, I'll be scrubbing pretty soon on one of my videos. And let's look at the screen and see where that was. So this is from Banggood. Now, once again, if you're prepared to order it from the States, a single item will cost you $3. Um, in packs of five, that's $10.37. That's amazingly cheap, isn't it? Compare that, though, to the price of the large one I just showed you. Um, you can get five pieces of those for $6.43. It's just over the dollar. Individually, they're $1.82. Um, so they're about, uh, what, twice the price, nearly? Nearly twice the price. But frankly, if you only want one or two of these, the size element really does lend itself for little projects, doesn't it? Let's just get the price again in pounds here. So an individual one would be £2.14. You can buy them in packs of five for £7.42. Now I find that pretty good. The only thing about these, if you look very closely at the, uh, the camera shot here, there's no adjustment that I can see at all. So what it means is it probably works day or night and the sensitivity has probably been set to maximum or something like that. Very similar to the ones I've already got installed, the full-size ones, ones like these. Uh, the ones I've got haven't got any adjustment either, as I said, and they work absolutely fine. Now, the final item, if we look at the screen first. Now, this is um, a 1 watt high power LED, this thing here. Now, it looks pretty impressive there, and I thought, yes, 1 watt um, times, I'll have five of those, please. Now, it says this is from a, a British seller, so it was 99p, and I actually bought five of them for 349 because I've got a special project um, for the bedroom. Um, and I won't actually dive over the details yet. We'll do that in a future video. And I thought, yeah, they, they're, they're good and chunky, and I can handle those. Look what's actually turned up. It's turned up in this bag here. And if I just tip them out... I mean, look at how dinky-winky these are. I mean, they are tiny. And there are a full one watt each. I've tried one out in my workshop, and they really are bright. Only one source of confusion I have on the packet, and probably on the website as well. It says here you can read uh, 2 volts to 2.6 maximum, 400 milliamps maximum. Now, when I put 2 volts on one of these... Um, it took about 300 milliamps. When I put it up to 2.6, it's tried to take 6, 7, even 800 on and started to go through it, at which point I got a little bit concerned and shut it off. It might mean that these require a constant current source rather than just a voltage. That's normally the case with the LEDs anyway, but normally you can get away with it. We'll see what I can get away with these, because these are going to be driven by pulse width modulation, and that'll all be described in the future video as part of my project for the bedroom or the kiddies' bedroom. We'll see. Right, so there we are. Look how small they are for a 1 watt. Look how small the PIR is. And finally, one little item that isn't particularly small in itself, but this is a multi-LED. Now, you don't save any pins with this because there's one pin for each LED. That is to say, there is indeed three LEDs in here, red, green, and blue. But you still need a separate pin for each and a common ground. So you're not saving pins on your Arduino, but what you do get, of course, is the complete spectrum of color on here. Now, I can't show that at the moment because I've got nothing to connect it to, but uh, that will certainly be coming into a future project. So what you could do, for example, you can display red for warning, um, a green when things are great, amber when it's not so great, and so forth. I mean, it's a, a simple thing to do. If we look on the website, so here it is. This one's from GearBest, and it's only a dollar twelve. I don't know if I can change. Oh yes, I can change the price. Let's have a look in pounds. So that. Oh, that was Benny, my cat. Right, eighty pence. One of those. I mean, that's pretty good. Right, I better let the cat out and uh, switch all this off. So, thanks for watching and get tuned in for those future videos because we'll be using all these items, these multimeters, the PIR, the LEDs and everything. And remember, size most definitely matters when you're talking about Arduino things. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you're finding these videos useful and interesting. Remember, you can leave comments down below, and also click that little button that says subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.